Hello. Today I'm going to be taking apart my FM transmitter here. Uh, all I'm doing is disconnecting this antenna from the circuit board so I can wire my uh, transmitting antenna to this because I never disconnected this from the board. So whenever I connect my transmitting antenna to this, I actually lose signal. But this antenna appears to be the not the perfect wavelength, but uh, a better wavelength than a squiggly wire. So I'm going to try and hook the transmitter to this antenna. So I can just move this antenna around and get better signal and better range, hopefully. So I'm going to take it apart and take a look at it. And uh, I'll show you what happens. What did I do with them other knobs? I had them a second ago. Here we have the inside of the radio. Now this right here is where all the magic happens, you see? That gray wire right there is connected to a headphone jack. Uh, gray wire comes in here. I tied it off so if I pull it, it won't, you know, get yanked out of the out of the radio here and break the connections. Anyway, there's two gray wires. One of them comes underneath of here, and it comes over to a variable capacitor, just like these two you see in the picture right now. And what I did was I glued that there. I glued it so it would stay in place, and then I hooked the other gray wire which would be the negative side. Sorry about that, the camera cut me off. Anyway, the gray wire that you're looking at right here is the negative side of the headphone jack. I don't think I have a ground. I think I hooked the negative and the ground together so we're transmitting mono. But it is what it is. Mono is cool. I like mono. And uh, that right there is just the jumper it's connected to. And then up here we have our antenna system which really is where all the complexity happens. That right there is your tuning capacitor. The two brown wires connected to, to each side are my two antennas. And I don't know what the black wire is. That might be another antenna that I wired on and forgot about. I'm going to take a look at that. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to test my connections real quick. I turned the radio on. I want to make sure everything's tight. When I move this wire around, get a little more interference. You just turn up the amp. When I move this wire around, whenever you're working with analog, you got to turn it on to mess with it so you know what you're dealing with. Like right now, I can tell I got a loose wire because I'm getting scratchy noise and the signal's fluctuating. I'm going to take this black wire out of here. I don't even know why I put that in there. I'm going to disconnect this. It's just that it's soldered. Alright, the red wire that you're looking at here was like my backup antenna, I guess you could say, and that's really what was killing my signal strength. Because now, we're getting three quarters of signal, three quarter uh, meters up three quarters of the way. Anyway, right there is the black wire and now we just have two wires coming out of our tuning capacitor. Basically your tuning capacitor is your transmitter because that's where all the frequencies are being, you know, that's the last stage, the last place that your frequencies are going before they're coming to your antenna. And a buddy of mine recently told me that uh, the shorter your wires and the less like curves and kinks and stuff that are in your wires, the better your signal will be. So I'm going to try and hook that directly to the antenna here. All right, now if there's anybody out there who would like to build an FM transmitter, it's really not that hard at all. All you have to do is have two FM radios. Just keep tuning the frequencies on both of them. Have them both on until you get a carrier frequency. Like just a dead tone. After you have that, hook up your amp wires, like from a stereo system like that over there, or anything that can produce sound, and touch the wires inside. Just don't touch the, uh, tune the uh, 
transformer over here because that'll that'll shock the heck out of you. She touched the wires around like I did on the on the variable capacitors. It took me about 40 minutes to do this, but once you get the hang of it, it's really not hard. And I found that the antenna works better if it's touching two of those leads on the tuning capacitor. Two on this side and haven't haven't really worked with this side much yet. As of now, the brown wire is just touching that silver lead that you can see on the screen there. But on this side over here, I found that if you have the wire touching the lead in the front there and the one in the center of the tuning capacitor on the left-hand side, I'm getting very strong signal with that wire touching both of the leads. When that wire was touching both of the leads, I was only getting maybe three quarters of signal. Now I'm getting about 95%. Which, of course, the transmitter is right in front of me, but, you know, I mean, uh, it, the signal is a little stronger if you're trying to, you know, just build an FM transmitter out of an old radio. This is a good way to start out. Alright, I just got done rewiring this a little bit. <laughs> uh... Basically, all I did was I cut the original antenna wire, which originally went to the receiver. Now our antenna has no connection, and our wires are coming from here. So I'm thinking about, for some reason, this wire here has a stronger signal than the other one. So I'm going to wire this to the antenna rod. and see how it works but the only thing is this long wire here might cut back our signal a little so I might have to snip this wire alright so now I'm going to put it all back together and I'm going to test the range I just got to put all the little knobs back on here see before the uh, it worked but it, it wasn't really working right you know, for some reason, for a while it was working nice, and then all of a sudden it started acting funny, so I had to take it apart and just fiddle around with it. That's how analog is. You just gotta, it works for a while, and then you gotta take it apart and tinker around with it, and you know how it is. Just nothing stays perfect forever. <laughs> Plus, it gives you something to do at the same time, so you know how it is. I'm gonna put the screws back in here now. Ah, now we're getting interference. When I flip the transmitter the other way. Alright, so all the screws are back in. I'm going to put this back up here. Now, our signal meter is going all the way over to about 9. We're getting about nine percent signal level that is that's a lot better than what it was before our signal was probably up to about four and a half to five before now we're getting double what we were just by cutting the original receiver antenna wire and uh... rewiring the tuning capacitor i just had one wire connected to one lead on this one side of the tuning capacitor when there's two leads on the left hand side so and then on the right hand side I have a wire wrapped around that lead at a tuning capacitor too. You saw it, but um Alright. If you have any questions or anything or if you're trying to build an FM transmitter, which I think is cool, feel free to write me a message, feel free to send comments, do whatever you gotta do. Uh if you have any questions I'll be more than happy to help you out to the best of my ability. <laughs> but in the meantime, peace out everybody. Enjoy your lives. There ain't much time left.